two points today. One of them update on the old cap and another one update on the serum wire. So let's start with the serum wire. I think I started this series with mentioning that we need some way how to connect the digits with uh, the lead through wires that goes through the glass. The main problem was that we need to make the electrical connection while preventing the wire from glowing and this was not so easy. One of the options how we can make it was the Cerama wire. I had to wait for it for six weeks and it finally arrived today. So let's have a look at it. So here it is. After six weeks of waiting, here it finally is. Wow, that looks interesting. This is a really interesting surface. So the thermal wire is a nickel core coated with thin layer of ceramics and the idea is that the ceramic layer will prevent the wire from the parasitic glow. So uh, I think we can cut it to 10 centimeters length and just like connect it to one side on the digit and one side on the stem and it will provide the electrical connection while preventing the wire from glowing. So we will see if it works. I will try this in a couple of days and today just a quick test uh, how easy it is to bend it and how durable is the layer and how well it adheres to the to the metal The bending radius is pretty good, the wire is soft and very easy to bend, so uh, I don't see any problem here. I don't see uh, the ceramic peeling off, it, it adheres real well to the wire, so I believe that this will work well. We need to test this under 500 degrees of Celsius under vacuum uh, to be sure that it sticks well, but uh, I, I think it will, it will work, I, I can feel it, it's really, it's really well made. The testing under vacuum will be the most important part because we need to make sure that it will not outgas and it will stay stable under the high temperature under high vacuum. The good thing on this wire is that the manufacturer also describes the procedure how to strip the wire from the from the ceramic layer. Uh, so we can just submerge it into a sodium hydroxide and it will it will remove a part of the of the coating and then this clean metallic wire we can spot weld to the other metal parts and then coat this just this spot weld with a drop of ceramic adhesive to prevent this particular place for from glowing and in the second part of this video i want to show you update of how the anode cup looks now so this is the latest version uh, we cooperate on this with a small local uh, supplier. It's a small press forming shop, and uh, they suggested that they maybe they can they can try. They will try to make it for us. Uh, but it turned out that like bending these fins in the same way as the rest of the edge is uh, difficult for them. And uh, maybe I also don't know how to how to prepare it because uh, I never made a par like this so uh, for now I'm thinking how to deal with this situation uh, because more or less we are now stuck on this so I will probably remove these fins completely it will be in the same in the same way made the same way like here uh, this this part is bent already quite well 
so it will be all along like this and uh, this these fins will be spot welded on this edge it will be a little bit a compromise on the aesthetics of this part but uh, the function will be the same it will not be uh, influenced so uh, and because we don't have much time left on this part we will we need to find a way how to make it simpler and uh, once the project of the large panel is finished and installed I will start looking for a way how to make this part from from one piece but for now we have to we have to do it differently I think I will already use these parts I will cut them with a scissors here and uh, these parts I can easily make on our shear cutter from the second spool of the deep drawing steel I kept here so one is at the laser cutting supplier and the second I kept in our shop so that we can uh, make some small parts and now it comes handy so in the following days I will work on these fins and uh, I want to prepare the anode cap so that we can already start uh, with uh, assembly with the ceramic insulators and all these all these things inside trying to find a local suppliers for all the parts first before trying other other countries it's quite a pain so maybe you are asking like why i'm going through this why i don't just order this from china because uh, in china they can make everything easier faster and at much lower price so first reason like the main the most important reason for me is that i want uh, to equip our shop first uh, so that we are able to make a development on these parts so i want to i need to understand the technology and the closer you are to the production the better because uh, if you order the parts from china it's like a black box you send them a 3d model they send you parts and that's it you don't know anything from the from the manufacture, from the production or the design process, nothing. So I want to be closer to the process and learn, learn the technology so that I am able to maybe develop this myself as a samples for the suppliers or at least uh, I will understand better what I want from the suppliers. It's always better when you come to the supplier and you have good knowledge of their like workflow and the capabilities what they have because if they get a feeling that they need to teach you how to design the part and this they they often just back out and they don't want to cooperate with you so it's better to to know something from their from the way how they work and know their limits materials and, and other stuff and the second reason is that I just I just like it. I enjoy it. I, I like to do these things uh, and uh, the way of sending the the 3D model to a supplier and getting a box with parts is not is just not fun. It's not it's not fulfilling. So of course it has its limits because if we have a deadline like in this kind of project uh, then I cannot like go back and forth all the time with the suppliers and uh, I need to have it at some certain uh, time frame and uh, in this case we need to make a little compromise on the shape of this part uh, which will not influence the tube or its function but um, uh, it will it will influence the look and uh, but that, that's fine for now. I will in, in future, in a couple of months, I will uh, find a way how to make this as a, as a one part and uh, how to make it visually more pleasing. So thank you. I will make another video about how I make these things, how I test the thermal wire, and maybe some other other things. And um, yeah. So see you later. Thank you.